fly fishing this round. Well, we uh, had this uh, round, we decided to take some fly uh, fishing gear with us with a uh, uh, near deer, the CF Guadalupana, and also a damselfly, and headed out back out to Bethany. Earlier, we'd uh, come back here using Senkos and caught a few four bass, and then we decided to come back and see what we could do with some fly fishing gear. We had first one, we had a miss, and then uh, we started working this little hole right by one of the, or right by the canal to get some of these uh, sunfish. These are the uh, COF Guadalupana, I'm about a size 12. We're just casting, letting it sink slowly, and uh, watching the uh, drift, and setting the hook when we see that little twitch. Sort of like practice and preparation for the uh, trout stocking season. Good stuff. There's another one here. Again, we're just watching the line, letting it drift, setting the hook. This be another sunfish. All right. You can see just the slight take of the line, and then we set the hook. And we see these little bait fish in the shallows, and that's what they're they're feeding on. Here's one where we just saw something uh, take uh, or chase some bait fish by the shallows, and we're gonna see them get them. And sure enough, we did. In this case, we're using a damselfly, tied like a trouser where the hook is uh, turned up, words, so uh, we can kind of let it bounce on the bottom. And uh, this one took it fairly quickly. As soon as we uh, cast, it looked like a. Uh, decided to go ahead and take the fly. All right, so a good fit. We're using a uh, four-weight Reddington fly rod. We got a Ross uh, four-weight reel or three four-weight reel. Yes, another view of the back. We'll let it go. And we see some more splashing, so we uh, go ahead and try. And this one just kind of did a subtle take on the fly. In this case, we're using a uh, near deer. This is a one one hundred near deer. Tied very similar to the same pattern as the COF Guadalupana, where we're using olive uh, marabou, some olive chenille with some flash, and uh, some red ribbing. This one's going to be a little, it's a little bluegill, also taking it on the near deer. All right. I believe this is our last one. It's going to be. Uh, or no, no, this isn't the last one. This is another bluegill. Also taking the near deer. Did see some bass uh, chasing some some fish in the shallows or bait fish in the shallows, but uh, really didn't want our uh, fly this time. So we got this little bluegill, and this will be our last one. It's a it's a small one, more like a fingerling. Still went for the near deer. Get a view of it here in a moment. It's a little fingerling bass. Alrighty. So next time we'll catch you later and good luck and good fishing.